We got to talk to some audience members. Yeah, let's talk to an audience member. I'm excited for this. So we are setting this up again for the very first time. We are going to switch our camera over to an audience member. They should be appearing on the screen at any moment. And hey, there they are right there in the center. Hi, audience member. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. Good. What is your name? Amy. Amy, and where are you from? I'm here in Austin now. Amy, here in Austin, Texas. Amy, uh, what's your question today? Okay, I'm trying to decide. It's like that Reddit, am I the asshole? Okay, uh, okay. I tried to name my son Heathen. My ooh, kids are ooh. not baptized. Ooh. Uh, I have atheist memorabilia around the house, bumper stickers. Mm -hmm. But I find myself so afraid of my father-in-law, ex-father-in-law, who's a Methodist minister, that I don't always say I'm an atheist when I'm having these conversations. I'm sure they figured it out. I wanted to name my son Heathen. <laughs> but am I an asshole? Should I be trying harder and, you know, being out there more? Or is there room to be a little bit afraid because some people have guns and they're crazy? Mm. Yes, we do We do live out here in Saudi Arabia um, where, you know, gun, guns guns are a thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I'm a little careful myself uh, walking around, you know. Um, I'm living out with my girlfriend in, in East Texas. Um, and so I'm a little less out than I normally am just because you never know what kind of whack job is out there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there's always a concern for safety. Um, and not just here, but in a lot of places. There are places that have it far worse than we do. And so you're not being an asshole. You're, you're just playing it safe. And a lot depends on how much of a relationship you, you want with your ex-father-in-law. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, if you don't want any relationship, then, I mean, who gives a shit what he thinks, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. I don't know. Like, I, obviously, I don't have kids, so I right. can't really comment on this situation in any official capacity whatsoever. I, I guess I will say, it's like, I don't know, by the time that kid grows up and they can call themselves whatever they want, so at the end of the day, it almost doesn't matter. I mean, like, obviously, there's some significance and importance to what you name your kid right but like uh, you know I, I i don't know i feel like it's 2022 people should yeah. be able to like name their kids whatever they want i think there's been more out there names than heathen yeah you know yeah. like sounds like ethan too yeah. sounds like yeah. ethan yeah i mean i've seen kids name their kid like dova keen remember that they <laughs> skyrim did a thing where they yeah. named they had a contest to name their kid after the name char game, main character of that yeah. game so it's like you know why not I, yeah. I don't see a big problem in it you know obviously there's gonna be family members that feel differently but it's not their kid. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so you don't think I'm letting down the home team by not having it tattooed on my forehead? It's, it's no. not. I mean, it's not your job to, you know, get their opinion on it, to be honest with you. I mean, yeah, it's it's nice to be considerate of their feelings, but ultimately they're not the one raising the child, right? Like, un unless, give, correct me if I'm wrong, like they're not a part of that household, so. Yeah. You know. and oh, But not, I just feel like sometimes all the good things I do when people are like, oh, God bless you. It's like, no, I'm an atheist, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I want to make sure you understand I'm doing these good things because I think it's the now, right thing the, to do. The weird thing would be if his name was Heathen and he grew up to be a Christian, <laughs> right? Like he did find the Lord. That would be interesting. Yeah. I have a friend who raised an atheist and she took her off to UT for college and she called me in tears that first summer. She's like, my daughter's home from college. You know what I found under her mattress? I was like, porn? Do girls do that? She's no, a Bible. I was like, ooh, didn't oh, see that coming. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Maybe it was just yeah. there, like for extra support, you know, some yeah. people like their mattresses more firm. That's, that's pretty Came to UT and found Jesus. Who knew? Oh, yeah, man. Exactly. It's like, and, and then there's the kids, some of the probably watching us who are named Christian, who are not right. Christians anymore. You know, like, it's, it's kind of a whole thing. But uh, yeah, I say go for it. I don't know. Yeah, and you're never an asshole for living your life and not being, and being uh, not out as, say, Dan and I are doing a TV show, right? right. Or doing a show. Right. Um, it's not incumbent on anybody to tell everybody in the world that they are, in fact, an atheist. Mm hmm. Um, the only thing is, as atheists is incumbent is to live the best lives that we can, and that's just part of being, part of being this is part of the society, right? Is doing the best we can with what we have. Um, I don't think it's incumbent on anybody to be out as an atheist if they are an atheist. I don't think it's incumbent on them to be out as a Christian. Yep. In fact, it might be better off if they weren't as out as they are. <laughs> yep. 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 It is the current social climate to be, you know kind of as considerate as possible to the Christian majority, but, like, that's only because of the time we live in now. Like, yeah, and I'm not considerate to the uh, Christian majority because I want to be considerate yeah. necessarily to them all the time, but simply because, well, they're armed out here. Yeah. Um, yeah. But also, too, I mean, sometimes one of the things here is they'll say God bless instead of goodbye mm -hmm. or thank you. And so it's not really a God bless. It's just a, a phrase they say at end of conversation, um, whether you're... Uh, going to a store and buying something, uh, you know, checkout clerks at grocery stores will say it a lot. Um, you know, have a blessed day. 
Yeah, they don't mean anything by it. And that's not an insult to us as an atheist. They don't know who we are. It's just part of who they are. And that's that's not a necessarily a bad thing even, right? Um, they're, they're wishing you well. Um, so take it aside and, and move on. I think if you if you, if you do start saying, "Well, I'm an atheist," then yes, you are being an asshole at that point, right? Yeah. To, to a grocery clerk who's just saying, "Have a blessed day," as you, th you move down to get your groceries out of the way, right? Yeah, no, and, I wouldn't throw that back in. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. But other than that, no, no one is no one is required as an atheist to be out. No one is required as an atheist to know anything about philosophy. Uh, they're not required to know anything about the Bible. The only thing that's required is that you don't accept as true that there are one or more gods that exist. Yep. That's the bare minimum. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Amy, I think we answered your question sufficiently. Tell me if, yeah. tell me if I'm wrong. No, I feel a lot better. Okay, okay. great. Well, great. thank you, thank you. And that was, uh, folks at home and here in the audience, our first, very first audience question Yay. we've ever done ever. And that went pretty yeah. good. That went hey. pretty good.